Hello, um, I was installing uh, a new belt for my uh, LiftMaster uh, Professional uh, 2280R and I got the belt installed but uh, in the process of adjusting the uh, limits, the limit screws came dislodged and uh, the, they were no longer working, especially the upper limit. Um, so right now I have the back panel off on this uh, 2280R. Make sure it's uh, unplugged before you do any inside work, okay? Um, but, uh, and also uh, mark your uh, uh, laser uh, stop uh, switches, sensors. Uh, pull them out if you need to. I just taped this uh, panel up so I can get a good view for it for the video. Um, but anyway, so this is, uh, what I'm gonna show you is how it works. Uh, these little, uh, these are the limit screws right here. And, uh, and so sure enough, if you turn these, you turn the uh, uh, contact, or you move the contact forward and aft. And this right here is when it makes contact with the limit, it stops the motor and reverses the polarity so that when it goes forward, it will make contact with the opposite one, the down one, and stop the motor and reverse the polarity and the cycle just continues on and off um, from there. Um, so what had happened was this one down screw had come dislodged and they can just get, they can pull them out right here. It's just like a little plastic uh, um, clamp thing and it had come dislodged on both ends and uh, so I had to get that. And then the middle screw, you'll see how that moves back and forth with the garage door opener in a, in a second. So anyway, I just figured this would help um, make sure safety, the power is off uh, when you take this panel off and do any sort of work in here. Um, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. I've already tried this uh, just to show you how it actually works and stops uh, forward and backwards. So let me plug it, plug it in and I'll be right back with you. Okay, I'm back uh, with you now, and I'm going to give a close-up for uh, the operation. Um, this uh, lower uh, uh, cog here turns the center, which moves the uh, thing uh, uh, back and forth, the, the uh, <laughs> touch sensor back and forth for the limits. Um, and you'll see how this operates in just a second. So here we go. Okay, so it went forward and stopped. And now it's going in this direction. And as soon as it hits that contact, it's going to stop and reverses the polarity. And now it comes back in the opposite direction. And as soon as it hits the other other uh, side, it stops. Okay, so if you're having trouble, if one of these comes dislodged, you can take this back off. There's, uh, there's three screws, one, one, two, and then three on the bottom underneath the light bulb area. Uh, and uh, you can get in there and adjust that. Uh, these do pop off here. <laughs> here it is hot and I'm touching it. So apparently it's low voltage, but uh, um, these uh, do pop off uh, the, the contacts. So you can see if I rotate uh, one of these screws, it's moving the contact forward or aft, giving you higher or lower uh, stoppage uh, points. Okay. So I just want to show you how that worked. And then, like I said, uh, uh, this cog right here is turning the center one, which actually moves that uh, sensor back and forth. The uh, big drive, the motor drives the drive shaft, which drives the belt on the top. And uh, so that's how you get your, your stop forward and aft. Okay. All right. That's it. Thanks. Okay. One other thing I wanted to add. So clearly we have the upper stop here and we have the lower stop right here and the connector in between the two. Uh, one of the reasons that this, uh, this entire plastic screw became dislodged is that I was trying to get the upper stop uh, higher and it wouldn't go. There's, there is a limit to the upper stop uh, setting. And if you notice, these two are kind of trending towards the front side of the uh, main, main screw. You would ideally want the uh, stopper and the two stops to be kind of centered in that main screw area. Otherwise, you'll end up with an upper limit issue. And what could have happened is uh, maybe the chain broke on a previous owner. And when they fixed it, they set the upper limits. And no one is looking inside the box, but the upper limits gradually moved towards the, uh, towards the screw sets. So you want the upper limits to be um, uh, 
right in between the screw sets so you, or the, the limits to be well within the boundaries of the screw. Right now, this upper limit, it can't go any further, right? Um, so what, what needs to happen, what I figured out has to happen, is just, uh, you know, there's no two ways about it. You ha I had to take off the belt drive, run the motor, get the motor to uh, the center position, then reinstall the, the belt drive. Not a big deal, but obviously you can't be running the belt uh, to get this centered. So once this is centered, and also you need to take into account where the trolley is when you stop the motor. Um, but, uh, you know, if the trolley's toward the front end, you want to stop the motor around here somewhere. If the trolley's, trolley's towards the uh, garage door opener motor, you want to stop it around here somewhere. If you want the trolley right in the middle, then stop it right in the middle. And then you'll have a nice uh, boundary on either side to uh, uh, set your screws. And so what had happened to me is I was trying to get the trolley uh, stop and adjust it more and more. Well, this came to the stop here and I kept uh, screwing it and this whole thing um, dislodged from this point, this plastic point and that plastic point. And, uh, and so uh, there, I just figured I'd mention that that's important here because this right now as it's shown is it's not really adjustable to like you think because this one this one can only be adjusted that way there's no more room to adjust it uh, um, uh, towards the motor so anyway I just want to mention that uh, it was an important part that I, I didn't uh, mention during the uh, videos thanks bye